Welcome to my YouTube channel, How Do You? I'm Wendy and today I'm going to talk about felting. Because felting is another way that you can transform your knitted products or items or whatever it is you're, you're making, mostly bags and purses. And um, it's so fun and so addictive. Um, you do need to have pure wool. Any animal-based yarn is the best. And what happens is, is you are you need to use hot water and a very small amount of detergent. And all you need is a, a bucket, some sort of container. I use my sink. It just depends on the size of product or bag. It's usually bags I make. It depends on the size. Um, you can also use your washing machine and even better if you have a top loading because the top loading ones are the best ones to use for felting. Um, I only have a front loading washing machine and I have felted with, with, with by using this and it is trial and error. You do put your, your um, felted piece or well, your knitted piece in a pillowcase or, or a, a, a laundry bag and you pop it in the machine at a 60 degrees wash um, and it's a bit like opening a lucky bag at the end of the cycle because it either works or it doesn't and it is trial and error so I really have found that by felting by hand um, it gets you going it builds up a sweat it's good for the muscles and um, it really is fun so felting is you, as I said, you need to have the, the hot water and a small amount of detergent and you're agitating the fibers so you get in your hands there you're you're really scrumbling you're mixing and the fibers the more you do this and if you add it depends on how you do it because you can do it by you can you can mix it in a bucket with um, maybe a big wooden spoon and um, you can add a tea towel in there or off cuts of bits of old denim jeans um, and this helps with the agitation process but I always just use, I put on yellow, lovely yellow marigold rubber gloves and, um, and I agitate with my hands so that the fibres are really clumping in and it does take a little, little, little bit of work but it is well worth it and then they, they really kind of clump together like, you know, get the grip together like that and they become, it becomes, your, your, your knitted piece starts to feel very firm and um, it shrinks roughly to about 30 percent so it does get quite a wee bit smaller so you need to consider this when you're knitting if you're making a bag for example that it will shrink a little bit more um, but you know it depends on how much you you agitate and you felt so i'm going to just show you some um, felted pieces and non-felted pieces just to give you a little idea of how they look so um, my flowers now I have been doing tutorials and I have done the flower corsage and this is the flower corsage and it's I have knitted it with a hundred percent yarn and before I added the middle bit and I didn't add petals because this has been doubled up to do this one I just made the petals without the back petals so it's just singular five petals instead of the ten and all I did was I pop, popped it in some hot water with my gloves, agitated, and it became like that. So you can see the differences there. And all I did was rinsed it in cold water. I pinned it, I blocked it on a towel as I do. And I obviously made sure it was right. I kind of roll it in a tea towel to get all the water out of it once it's rinsed. And um, you can add details to it. Um, I actually made a smaller one, so cute, this tiny one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to this one and I'm going to put one of my felted buttons on the front. Um, I've got one here ready. And it's going to go on one of my bags. So that's a lovely effect. But if you want to just felt just a smaller one, you can do it like that and that's that's the back and that's the front and it's quite pretty so you can do a nice felted flower corsage um, felted purses you can do you know just by knitting away and you can do that and um, 
this is a bag that I have done and this now this is interesting because this bag I knit is a free form bag and I do have tutorials on how to knit these bags and this one has been knitted with pure wool blended yarns and also synthetics and I felted it but I only felted it so that I could see the effects with the pure wool so that is the pure wool there and here so it really is, it has turned out amazing and it just shows you the different effects. So you can felt with the mixtures of yarns there. And um, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to felt a bag. And the bag is going to be done like this. And I've been doing lots of little squares. So it's 100% wool. I've been knitting lots of little squares like this and joining them up till I feel it's going to, I'm going to actually add another row onto here and do the back and then I'm going to go and actually show you how this is felted and how it turns out. So until then, I will see you soon. Bye bye.